Hi everyone, welcome back. We have another fun Halloween treat story for you. It is called Snappy's Little Halloween. It is a pop-up book and I just think it's a really fun one to share. It has some really fun art and I know even you guys in the upper grades sometimes make these three-dimensional pop-outs. So um, if you get any ideas from this, it might spark a fun Halloween card or a fun Halloween art project. So here we go. Um, I should tell you who it's written by, Snappy's Little Halloween. Who will you meet in this Halloween treat? It is written by Dugald Steer and illustrated by Derek Matthews. Here we go. Halloween's a time for spells. This witch makes strange things grow. But oops, she's made her nose too long. Oh, oh, oh. really don't like flying. It makes their soft fur frizz. But when the witch says the magic words, bang, pop, whiz. This skeleton feels very stiff. He wants to stretch and wriggle. And so he does a moonlight dance. Jiggle, jiggle, Jiggle. Bats love to fly in the dark of night. Just see this spooky chap. He's off to find some scary fun. Flap, flap, flap. When friendly ghosts come calling, I ask, how do you do? They smile, they sigh, then they reply, ooh, ooh, ooh. This silly little vampire, he thinks he's scaring you. He doesn't know his pants fell down. Boo, boo, boo. Folds out. A mummy is wrapped in bandages. This is a fact well known. But if someone should pull them off, moan, groan, moan. Is someone in this armor or is it just a prank? The visor opens, then slams shut. Clank. Clank, clank. Most monsters play on Halloween, but this one's all a quiver. He stays at home and hides in bed. Shiver, shiver, shiver. This one even has his eyes that move when you open the covers. That's pretty clever. <laughs> Now Halloween is almost here. It's, it really is a scream. Hello, calls the jack-o'-lantern. Happy Halloween. And if you look inside here, oh, I think he got stuck, let me fix him. He did get stuck. If you look inside here, there is a little spider hanging in the middle of the jack-o'-lantern. Can you see it moving around in there? Happy Halloween, the end. Just kind of a fun little one. I love, you know Mrs. Pooh loves art, so I always love looking at designs like that and trying to figure out how the artists came up with those ideas and then maybe even trying to recreate some of them on my own. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed that story. Until next time, happy reading.